Hi friends, welcome to Tech Tutorials in Telugu by Teja. In this channel, we are going to learn about Linux, Windows, VMware, Storage, and Cloud Computing platforms. Now, let's get into the topic. Hi friends, in this video, let us see. I have built ESXL app, friends. In that, I am going to install this Windows Server 2022. Uh, let us see how to download this ISO file and install in an ESXL server. For this, open any browser. Right now, I have opened the Chrome browser. In this, uh, type Windows Server 2022 download. It will give a prompt over here. Open this URL on the top URL. In this, you can find the multiple options over here, like what you want to download. Whether you want to download a directly virtual machine in Azure or a BHD or a ISO file like that. You have to click on that ISO. This will give this a complete. Uh, this form need to be filled, friends. So by default, uh, if you can give any like uh, give any name and give the company name, just give the region as India and all those stuff, and click download. After you, when you click download, it will give a prompt like I have already downloaded. You can see, friends, this evaluation version ISO file will be downloaded by default. It is around size of uh, 4.5 GB around, friends. See. 4.69 GB. Once you download this file, go to the ESXS server, go to the storage, and you have to upload this uh, ISO file firstly onto this data store. Then only you can uh, configure a VM, friends. What I'm doing is I'm going to this uh, storage, open data store over here. Here you can upload this particular ISO file, friends. Click on upload option over here and choose the ISO file which you have downloaded right now. I have chosen it will take a bit time friends it's complete uh, i will resume the video again friends see friends iso file upload complete ip and right now close this window go to the virtual machines and create a new domain controller friends so register in new vm click next here you need to give a name for this particular vm uh, let what let us do one thing let us create a domain vm name as Tesla group dot code dot in underscore DC domain controller. Okay, this will be our domain, and this is our domain controller just for identification. I have given like this, friends. And this Windows operating system, and it is 2016 or later, right? It is 2022, right? Click next. Here we need to select the database storage space. So we had only single storage space, right? Uh, by default, I'm leaving like this itself. Free space is 57 GB. Okay, it's okay then. And I'm going to stake four virtual four CPU. And do one thing, friends. While you select this one, you enable the hot plug option because whenever you want to increase this uh, CPU or memory. If you enable the hard plug, you can do it when the VM is up and running also. You can able to increase the sizes. So I am giving 8 GB of RAM. And the hard disk is of 40 GB, right? And I am giving a thin provision. Okay. And here I am going to select the ISO file. This is our ISO file, right? The one we have downloaded right now. Click select. Leave the setting default. Click go next. You can see the list of summarized uh, settings. What all we have selected for our VM will be over here. A default view. You can check all this uh, stuff from here itself. If everything's fine, click finish. Right now, we just registered the VM. Once we power on, then only it will get. We can able to view this. Right now, I'm powering on the VM and i am going to access this vm from a console Watch console okay yeah maximizing screen friend yeah it will boot from a cd it will ask like this so click any key so that it will load friends let it get loaded it will take a time See what for I have taken Tesla group dot co dot in the domain name is uh, we have that reg domain registered from GoDaddy right when we do the office 365 lives uh, integration like uh, migrating these user account to the O365 uh, this domain will be helpful that is the reason I have specified in that way friends 
you can keep the time and date form as as it is or else you can change it to India I'm leaving it like that is friends language as India no problem English we will be having India as well over here you can select India you can choose India here see I'm going to choose the time and currency format as India click next and click install friends this is the same process how we install the remaining operating system so in the same way let us explore all the features see in 2022 we had only three versions first standard data center as well as desktop center uh, desktop experience over here you can see it here we can choose standard desktop experience or else the data center experience right now i'm choosing a data center just to explore all the features in it i am selecting data center friends from your end you can choose the standard as well no problem anything is okay i am choosing data center from here click next accept the terms and conditions click next go to custom 40 gb we have given right leave it as it is and click next or else you can go and create a new drive and all the stuff we can do or else we can leave it as it is so that OS will take care of the rest of the things needed for this okay let it get loaded friends it takes some time to get loaded see friends you can have default administrator password out of so we need to give any password this will be a local admin password friends password enter just click finish once we click finish this now the automatic amount of boot I pay money key open up our button friends let us see how it looks like see complete the load and the try to log in with the password what you have entered during the installation see try to give the password now See friends, this is the interface of the 2022 server operating system. We can see data center version. If you want to check the version of this uh, particular operating system, go to the run command and type winver. It gives the complete list of operating system details over here. So you can see it's 21H2 version is and the operating system is 2022 this is how to load an operating system like 2022 operating system in ESX server friends so let us configure this as a domain controller in the next coming laps thank you friends have a nice day